My name is Adelaide Morningstar, and I would like to talk about vertical hairstyles. Yes, vertical hairstyles have been around for thousands and thousands of years. If you've ever ventured into a museum and seen the bronze sculpture or the marble sculptures from ancient Egypt or from the Greek or Roman period, you will see the kings and queens, the princes and princesses, all with these beautiful vertical hairstyles. They were created with all kinds of technology back then that was very simple, basically beeswax and tallow and also oils, combs, and basically it was used to create a sense of status. See, the higher your hair is, the higher your status. At least that's what Marie Antoinette used to say. And she created the pompadour. The pompadour at one time was over three to four feet high. And in some cases, you could actually put a birdcage on the top of one of the ladies' heads and entwine it with hair. Now, in uh, those days, they didn't wash their hair very much. They powdered it. So they would create this dusty, powdery look. Now, I like the vertical hairstyles from the peasantry, uh, mainly from the Caucasus, from the Russians, from the Hopis, and from some of the more peasant classes from Eastern Europe. I love how they were able to braid and intertwine these intricate designs in their hair. In today's uh, world, it's quite hectic, and it's not always easy to create those type of hairstyles, but you can still create a vertical hairstyle. It's beautiful and it's practical, and I'll tell you how. All you have to do if you have, let's say, shoulder length hair, you back comb all the way from the back up to the front where the hair is sleek. Then you take the sleek hair and fold it over all the back combed hair, and then you secure it with bobby pins. Now, if you choose, you can do floral adornments, such as the ones that Frida Kahlo used in the 1940s, when she made a sensation when she came to New York City and the art scene was aghast at her wonderfully colorful floral pageantry that she had displayed on the top of her head. Now these came back from the ancient, ancient Mexican cultures where they would interweave flowers in their hair. Uh, this is also part of Spanish culture where they would put uh, camellia flowers in their hair and also in the Hawaiian culture where it was traditional to put uh, orange blossoms or plumeria flowers in the hair. And this all created a sense of verticalness. Now, vertical hairstyles are practical and they're simple and they're easy to maintain. So check into doing a vertical hairstyle, no matter what your mode of dress or how you like to present yourself. Vertical hairstyles can be quite exciting and can be the fashion of the day if only we get enough people interested in it. So I hope you enjoy this little discussion and have a nice day. Bye.